Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Muckle Lover, and thank you for joining me, of course, here in Hearts of Iron 4, playing as not as Yugoslavia, but continuing on with the United Kingdom of Portugal and Brazil. So, last time we took out Argentina. Honestly, this type of South America is looking real good right now. But, we want to go to Chile, and in five days we can. Cool. Uh, I do want to remind myself, and I'm going to r try to remember this as best as possible, try to get some armored cars, because our garrisons are doing really well, actually with 28 suppression, but maybe we can make him just a little bit better. So, we'll see what, what we're going to do with that. And then I did move my soldiers around here to the Soviet Union to see if we could have a good time with these people. On Doris, you know what? Let's actually rearrange this a little bit. You three... Come right here. Okay, now the Germans are attacking. Oh, and you guys are on the exact opposite sides of where I wanted you to be. Well, kind of. Whatever. Alright, Axis, please don't do that. Also, let's see what's going on here. We have lost a sub in exchange for two more convoys, you know, whatever. Uh, one thing I did notice, why is Canada, like, Japanese white? Or Japanese white pink? It's a little disgusting, not gonna lie. Oh well, what are we missing? I think close air support. Yeah, we're missing some close air support. Uh, if we have the factories for it, I don't really mind making them, but then again, we don't have enough aluminum. Actually, does anyone in South America have aluminum? That's good. Aluminum, where are you? Oh, well, there's something there. But we need to blow up everyone around there first, though. Let's grab a little bit more from Bourbon, France. Not bad, that helped our tactical bombers just a wee bit. Not much, though. Do we need anything else? We gotta make sure we always, always have enough guns, which is good. Motorized, medium tanks, you know, the normal stuff. Last sub, like I said earlier. A couple convoys sunk. Good stuff, good stuff. Navy. Ah, throw that sub there. That'd be good. What are you guys doing? Some light cruisers, some protections. Alright, so be it. Let's go ahead and go to war with, though, with these fellas. Okay, Mexican Junta, you're doing a, maybe a little bit too much? Maybe? Uh, who just joined the war? I mean, besides Chile? Because uh, I don't think Chile's going to be that strong. Strong? They've up to 19 divisions max. Uh, they have 25 factories, which would be nice to add. Oh, we're at war with Guatemala. I mean, I don't expect perfection on the front, but uh, it shouldn't be too bad. Right? Shouldn't be too bad. Oh, look at that. Great, we got the guns now. I'm going to immediately go in and research armored cars. Because I've sometimes made the mistake of saying I'll research things and not, then not actually research them. My bad. Cool. Oh. Ch oh. Chile's being caught in the war. Alright, so how's this? Oh. Now you look like a little nub. That's disgusting. Hmm. What happened to my... Oh, my tank is still moving up. That's okay. We still get about a thousand man for more a week, which is nice. Which is very, very nice. Can you guys just push that way, perhaps? Oh, no. I want all of you guys to push this way. Three divisions versus four. Everyone's suffering from attrition. It doesn't look like it. Mexican Jew to declare war. Why is Mexico going to war with everyone? Can you guys potentially do this? You should be able to, especially for attacking two sides. We have another spy, which is good. Uh, what do we want to do? Person with a hat? Infiltration seems pretty good to me. Hmm. I don't think we need all these people here. Especially you. As much as I like to do the UK, what can we do about the United States? That's a big corridor of research for the United States. Holy cow. You are operating in an infiltration mission. Very nice. Oh boy. We lost two subs. That's not good. Oh, we have a garrison moving around. Okay, whatever, whatever. Resistance. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Very nice, very nice. Good, good, good. Oh, do we have upgrades actually? That'll be good to address. Chile is gone. I should have started justifying on someone else, though. Oh, pretty good, though. Pretty good. Let's take out Peru next, because... No, this is not Peru. This is Bolivia. My apologies to everyone from Bolivia, even though I'll probably never go there. Hmm. Not bad. What are we doing? We've decrypted a lot of sappers. I'm pretty much going to let the Axis try to take out the Soviets. I mean, we're trying our best here, but, you know, it, it's going. It's definitely going. 
If I concentrate my forces well enough, we can always beat them back, though. So, uh, Do I have logistic companies? That's a good question to ask. Hungary has invaded, or accepted our offer to evade this naval blockade. Good. No, but we're researching that, so that's pretty nice. That's pretty darn nice. Oh boy, what's going on here? So we have our battleships in this battle, which is kind of nice. Ah, oh, we're sinking a couple convoys. Come on, sink their destroyers. Get at least one. No, no, we didn't get to just blow, blow them up. No, now I'm sad. Not really, though. We've been doing really well, though. Very, very well. All right. Uh, you guys, supplies better here, actually. That's good. Nice, we'll attack where we can. We're going to need more fuel, though. Definitely get more fuel. Very nice, very nice. Beat him back, beat him back. Beat him up. Take the lunch money. You know, good stuff. Take half, you guys immediately go that way. Mozier? Mozier. Something like that. And if possible, you know what? Just. Can you go that way? Take the tank with you, too. Help break across the river if you can. You should be able to. They're not that strong. So we're going to circle three more divisions and kill them off. Motorized should get there almost instantly. There you go. Immediately begin killing the, off that division. That'll be glorious. Ooh. I really need to upgrade my uh, subs. Which I'll do eventually. That's disgusting. Uh, in America, we are... Oh, Dominican Republic, thank you. Thank you, my friends. We're doing okay still. We're not losing as much as before, I believe. But we're still doing okay. Uh, what can I not get enough of? Rubber? Aluminum? Fuel? No, we're doing okay. You okay, Bink? I'm joined here with my Portuguese-Brazilian Lusophonian cat, Binky. Enjoying the sunshine. Oh, yeah, we put our naval bombers up here. Nice. We actually killed off one of the things. Oh, boy. Guys, I don't know if I'd really recommend this. I might recommend this, though. I might recommend some drastic expansion around Poland. Hmm. Oh, yeah. What? So, from looking at their line, there's definite holes in their line. I don't understand. This is probably a terrible idea, but just go ahead. Just go right on ahead. Just go ahead and expand if you can, you know. Until we encounter some enemies. Very nice. Oh, did we lose something? No, we didn't. Great, great. Let time go on as fast as possible so we can go to war through. Honduras is gone. Who else is in the Axis and the Allies here? So, of course, Mexico's in the Axis. Guatemala is by themselves. El Salvador joined the, you know, the Japanese faction. Greater Asian, East Asian Coast Prosperity Sphere. Killing off those allies. Allies are here. Colombia's right there. Venezuela, allies, you know, all the good stuff. Ah, oh, construction five. You know what? It's 1943. I could, oh, I need more. Do I need more output? Do I really need more output right now? I could, I could wait. Just give me one more tech, because I do want to upgrade my subs just a little bit. And get at least Torpedo 3. At least Torpedo 3. Now we want nuclear reactors too. That's fun. Some good stuff. Nice. Alright, well, I mean... Just keep expanding, guys. If the Soviets don't have enough divisions to guard their border, that's not my problem. Well, it might be because we have to cover the lines, but hey, we overran a division. Nice. We're currently 9%. Of course, I want as much of South America as possible and a good chunk of Africa, which would be very, very nice. But it looks like the Soviets aren't having a good time. They have quite a few divisions still. I'm not sure why they're struggling so much. Yeah, they only have 100, maybe 150 factories at most. And sure, yeah, I know the Axis is super strong still, but, uh, nice. It's very good. Let's go ahead and kill these guys off here so it doesn't distract our soldiers. And you know what? Right now, I don't have to garrison the area, so I'm feeling really good about that. And how much longer do we have to wait for these guys? Probably quite a while. About 100, that's about 90 days. What is that? Oh, that's Bolivia? That's a flag of Bolivia. No. No, no, no. Bolivia's improving relations with the French Laos. Oh, wait. You guys liberated? Hello. I don't remember seeing you before. Hmm. Ah, nuclear reactor. Very nice. Very nice. I could get bombs, but, uh, get better subs. 
Good. Very nice. Very good. Yeah, um, I really don't understand why the Soviets have done what they've done. Because they... Uh, uh, hold on. Do we have any intelligence on these guys? You know, like the normal, Soviet Union has a lot of manpower. A lot of ton of factories, a lot of fuel. Uh, they're only on service by requirement, which is kind of unnerving to see. They have about one and, and a half maybe a million manpower. I... Yeah, I... They didn't annex Poland, they didn't annex the Baltics, but even then, they should still be a little bit stronger than this. I mean, it is 1943. Half the Axis is literally fighting America right now. In America. So... I'm questioning... Why is the Soviets so weak? Why is? Why are the Soviets so weak? Because right now, I'm literally just trucking into enemy tiles. So, just come up here, take Leningrad if we can. Just have a great time. Maybe get down to Moscow eventually. Ah, now they pulled their some more divisions around. Alright, makes sense, makes sense. But, uh, sometimes it don't make sense. Sometimes it really don't. That'd be good. Yeah, I mean, I'm do we're doing pretty darn well. I can raise my conscription level, which I will need to do eventually. What else can I do here? War propaganda? I think we're okay with war propaganda. Mm, Region-wide stuff. More chromium? Sure. Naval bro blockades, really good. We're integrating Angola, Mozambique. Get some of that, some more integration stuff. Nice. Good. Keep taking more stuff. That's bueno. That's very, very bueno. Yeah. This has been a massive push by the Axis into the Soviet territory. Do we take... Oh, we already took Stalingrad. That's great. That's great. Uh, yeah, just keep good enough, Grad. Get to Luga. I'm not getting cut off, but you know, whatever. It really doesn't matter. Trade research. Soon we'll have some logistic companies, some interwar armored cars. Very nice. Very nice. Three things go there. Very nice. Oh, are you guys repairing? Makes sense. Yeah, I don't want them to repair independently just because uh, they can get hit pretty hard sometimes. I need a little bit more steel. Very good, very good. Uh, what are we building? I should build at least one nuclear reactor. You know what? Make it two. And then make a little. Excuse me. Another refinery. And then make it two. Beautiful. Alright. I'm really interested in what's going on up here. Like, this is insane. Ah, oh, we took Leningrad. Great. Hmm. Good job, guys. Very nice, very nice. Keep it up. I don't think the Soviets can really keep this up too much longer. Let's see. We're making two divisions. We're making plenty of... Oh. Oh, Ecuador. Why are you going to war with Ecuador, man? Oh, you got clams on all my guests, but... You're not even touching them. You're not even touching them. Uh, Bolivia. How many more days? Yeah, I guarantee by the Allies. Yeah, that doesn't mean anything anymore. Oh, look. More convoys sunk. Oh, I lost a plane. Eh, yeah, happens. Also, I did remember, I didn't address this yesterday, but two episodes ago someone said, My poor Ireland! No! Taken over by the Reich! Happens. Ah, yes. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Just take that tile. That'll be good. Where are you guys at? Oh, do you have any upgrades? You're an organizer, you should become a field marshal, really. What about Hermenegildo? Yeah, switch switch your roles around. You, you are gonna become a field marshal. Bernardo. Oh wait, logistics only goes down to minus 15%? That got nerfed? Huh. How did I know that? Yeah, you're not as good as uh 
Bernardo here. That's pretty bad when you get replaced. Um, like that. Pretty good, pretty good. We're still doing okay. Uh, we're, are we participating in any battles? Yes, we are. Go ahead and go on down to that. You know, stop attacking. Stop attacking. See, see what we can do. Realign ourselves, because... We've done real well, so far. Very nice, very nice. Good, very good. How about from down here? The allies haven't really expanded down here too much more, which is good, which honestly makes sense, just because the supply, I'm sure, is like, garbo tier. Like, real garbo tier. Oh, Logistics 1! Yes, that is very helpful. Incredibly helpful. Uh, we already have military police. That's pretty good. I might consider doing field hospitals. There's more logistic companies. How much support companies do we have? 5,000. I think that's just good enough to do this. It should be okay. And you all save on fuel and supplies as well as our tanks. Lowers our armor, lowers their penetration a little bit, but I think that'll be alright. Oh, we need some more motorized. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, guys, yeah. I'll take some motorized. Yeah, thumbs up. Yeah, cool. Uh, that's going to be a problem here for a while, but, you know, whatever. But, man, we can beat the Soviet Union, probably, before America capitulates. It's kind of whack, yo. Mm. Kind of whack. Alright, so, let's take a good... good Another look at this. Let's concentrate our forces. Right there. I guess I just researched something else. Hopefully it's the armored cars. It looks like it is. Very good. Uh, more defense and breakthrough. Now, anti-resistance, people. It lowers our manpower requirements by quite a bit. Now, I don't know the optimal template for doing a resistance. Even though it really doesn't matter too much. I don't need at least one armored car. What happens if I go with... I get even more resistance. You know what? Don't, don't even do it yet. Just because we need to make armored cars first, so that we can actually use it. Because the game is special, and we're gonna need more steel. So, I'm not gonna hurt my guns. I really don't want to hurt my planes. But you know what? That might help out a little bit, actually. There you go. Make a couple. Get a little bit more steel. That'll be good. Mm, Yugoslavia, you're looking pretty steely right now. Good. Great. Ah, 1940 sub. Snorkels, last time I remembered, snorkels really aren't worth it. Um, yeah, I could make these guys, but you know what? I'm not even making them. Alright, subbies. Oh, nothing there. Oh, we need radar. Hey, at least we got torpedo threes, though. Yeah, that's for radar. And better engines. Look at that torpedo attack now. That's nice. Yep, I don't want that. go. Come to Galicia. There you go. You still can't be made because I need more steel, but whatever. Pretty normal things. Can I at least make one sub? Seriously. Oh, we need... Oh, hold on. Oh, uh, oh this is for light ships or cruisers. That's it. This... Wait. This actually gave us... Torpedo attack for subs. Oh, screw that then. Let's go for this type of subs then. 64 days? Oh, yeah, let's do that. Very nice, very nice. Oh, check. Sunk two more enemy thingamabobs. All right, let's let the guys get in here. That'll be good. Then we'll attack down here and attack down there. Awesome. Uh, common turn. Less than 150 factories. Maybe 120. Maybe. And they've lost like 20 more divisions, I think, at least. Let's get our guys in here. Or we're done waiting. Yeah, we're pretty much done waiting. And then take... Not you, but then go there. Uh-oh. <clears throat> A Bourbon France, please. Please, Bourbon France. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, definitely know that fuel. Arsenal de Alphaite. Cool. And let's do this one. So, enhancing the facilities of the Officinas Geras de Materia 
Aeronautical will significantly improve our aircraft production. Very much so. And I guess now I'll make some convoys, that's fine. Pretty good, pretty good. Are you guys winning? You kind of are. That's always important to win, right? It's always important to win. Cool. Good. Very nice. Very good. How many garrisons do we actually need? 33. We can probably cut down on it just a little bit. Uh oh, what's going on? It's just really laggy, that's all. Okay, cool. You know, go down to two. Save a little more manpower equipment. Oh, oh, I guess I was doing the cipher for Japan as well. Um, I'm running out of things to do ciphers on. How about Poland? We, we, we already did Poland. Uh, did Japan. Can't do Qing China for some reason. Uh, just go to Finland. It takes 110 days, that's not bad. That's pretty good, actually. Alright, so how many armored cars do we have? 45. That's not enough. It's definitely not enough. I guess our goal in this episode is to capitulate the Soviet Onion. There we go. Very good, very good. Let's see. Yuji steals the problem here. Not always, but... Oh. We have no problem. Why does the game tell me we have a problem? Hmm. Production. Going very nicely. Very, very nicely. How's America looking? Uh... We're slowly getting beaten back. That's okay. How's our intel in America, actually? Warplan Yellow. Uh, they got a lot of divisions, of course. In Industry-wise, we got about a million manpower. German right cancel Lindley's. That makes sense. You know, whatever. 300 factories. Pretty, pretty normal American things. Once we beat the Soviet Union, though, this will hopefully come crashing down. Nice. Have I done... I think I've done a lot of extraction already. No, I've done none of it. Okay, cool. I've done no extraction, which is fine, which is good. So that we can actually extract some more of our own steel, which I know is not a lot. But we can still use that. And a little bit more aluminum as well. That'd come in handy. How are you guys doing? Uh, we could maybe go for gold and do that. Give them some force attack. These Soviet divisions aren't super strong. Just continue encircling divisions, destroying them. Having a good time. Anything else around here? Hmm, I guess we do that. How's our uh, intelligence doing? Still reading out res Oh! I'm glad I looked over here. That's not good. That's really not good. Hmm. You know what? Can we finish this area off first? And then I go rescue these guys over here. We got a lot of green, that's good. Are we not winning here? How are we not winning with five divisions? Uh, then again, they might have done their like desperate defense, their order two two seven, perhaps. Resistance, Uruguay, yeah. Normal South American things. Cool. This is a little unnerving. That's a massive invasion. Oh, cool, great. So let's go ahead and finish these guys off. Yeah, go just help kill them off. All right, so we got some green. I like the green. We should have it. They shouldn't need me, but this looks like a lot of dead Englishmen in the water, or I should say British. Not everyone in the UK is English. Hmm, I could use tactical. Oh, you know what? I got tactical bombers. Oh, wait, let's put you in half. You guys, I'm actually going to use you when we invade. Bolivia. I want to say the right one. Bolivia. Ooh, look at that fuel. That's not good. That is real not good. Alright, so what are we doing with this? It takes forever to research stuff. Oof. Forever. It takes forever, ever, ever. Pretty injured. That makes sense, though. Good. Come on. I mean, there should be out of supply, so... Cool. Lead the attack. Now you guys can help out. There you go. Uh, not bad. we got 14 days worth of fuel left. Ecuador has been called in. No one cares. 
They're still doing okay. We're still doing okay over here. So lots of green. Lots of green on this front. Even though there is some red. We cut off these enemy divisions, which is very nice. Six million casualties. That's not bad. Not enough, though. Uh, you know what? Just in case, I will send you guys all down here. Just in case. I think we'll have it, but you know what? It's good to take a precaution. And see what the our allies can do without our help. Oh, Gu oh Guiana has capitulated. Okay. Uh, I already made this level 10. If I make it a level 1 <laughs> radar, it won't get out of the forest. Holy cow. <laughs> you know what might help, though? Uh, some air bases. There you go. Oh, we're doing the refineries? No, we're not. Yeah, no, we're not. I need more refineries. I need more fuel. I need more rubber. Well, we're okay on rubber, but I need more fuel. Great. I have a feeling this will go okay. Probably not too badly for us. Then again, I could be wrong. They're guaranteed by Canada. Watch. Wait. Are you going to retire? Why? If I go to war with you guys? Are you going to... Why did it say he was going to retire? What the heck? Please don't retire. I love you as a monarch here. A constitutional monarchy? Yes, please. Wait, French Algeria. Oh, now, now... Oh, they're releasing their um puppets. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Look at this. This is so bad. French Cameroon. What is this? Fuhrer Reich? Oh, my goodness. This is disgusting. Oh, we're almost done integrating Angola, Mozambique. Uh, it's only one, but, you know, one civilian factory for two pieces of that. That's not bad. A new regime in Angola. Hmm. Well, whatever. Nice. Not bad. We lost a couple planes here and there. You know, whatever. Bolivia's looking not too bad. Could look a little better. Could look a little more blue. Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka. Well, okay then. What is the strength of Bolivia? You know what? Let's go ahead and start justifying on Peru. Oh no, no we don't want to because they're in the, a Japanese faction, which is fine. Uh, I don't want to fight Colombia like this just because that, that's not a good luck. Uh, fighting through here is going to be a pain in the butt. Honestly, this is too many... This is too much. You know what I'm going to do? I don't like doing it like this. I'm just going to give it to Bourbon France. Just don't release places like this, please. I'm just going to make them core it. Just makes it easy for us. Please get less lag. For the love of God, please get less lag. What is that? French Cameroon, Sierra Leone. Are you a puppet of... No, you're not. Um, I'm going to do the same thing here. I don't want to buff France up too strong, so... I don't mind, like, having it, like, one big old African nation. Let's see, Ghana, you're, like, occupied. Togo, Dahomey. You're in the same faction, you know what? I'm sorry. We're gonna get eaten up. We don't need independence here. Cool. Come on. If I make it a core, maybe does this should, no, this should work. Yeah. Oh wait, what am I doing? There you go. Yeah, it's gotten incredibly laggy since France decided to release everything. What is this? Nigeria. I really don't want it. I really don't want to core that for them. Um, French Chad. Uh, I'm not gonna mark that. Hmm. French Gabon. There you go. Should have basically no resistance. French Madagascar. Did 
There you go. That should be, that should be, be a little better there. Just a little bit better. Not it's not great. They even release these guys. Come on, man. Oh, what do we got? We got something here. Infiltrate the civilian administration. Great. Oh, we can infiltrate the civilian administration in the United States. That sounds like fun. Natural order. Who is a person that... Yeah. Yes, please. And then... Yeah, put that person there. Good. Commence when ready. Prepare. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. Some American convoys are getting sunk. Some Australian or New Zealand convoys. Good. So, our guys have made it down here already. Good. Bolivia slowly falling. How many men have we lost? Let's see. Not enough to Bolivia to make, it, to make us care at all. They've lost 25,000, which isn't bad. I was hoping for maybe a little bit more. But whatever. Need one more thing of fuel, at least. Thank you, Romanian Yugoslavia. Or Yugoslavian Ro Romania. And let's concentrate our guys. Very good, very good, very good. Ah, best subs. Let's get some radar. Our subs need it. Our subs deserve it. I haven't even done anything with these subs. That's how bad they are. Or how bad my steel production is. You're almost done, though. Make one. Uh, uh, let's make sure you're actually decent. Even though they have no radar right now. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a little bit better. Cool. I guess we come to Gibraltar now. Oh. Alright, uh, where are my other, uh, tanks, motorized, where are y'all? Holy cow, we need so much fuel, for what? You know, if that's the case, that might ship up working on stuff. I'll stop you guys for now, go and repair. Oh, you got, you're pretty, oh, they're veterans, nice. Yeah, I can't attack without any fuel, so. Oh, Italy invaded the UK, nice. They invaded Wales. Alright, let's. Come on, let's finish up Bolivia. Come on. There they go. Oh, great. Well, I don't think any they deserve anything. Since, uh... I don't think they really did anything for us. So, thank you. I will gladly take this area. Now, South America is going to be a mess. Just because we can't really do much about it. I mean, South America is looking real good right now. Real good. Let's go ahead and grab some... Extraction. That would be really good for us. Uh, I want to go to war with Colombia, but they're probably too strong. Fighting the Amazons when we already have supply issues is not a good idea. But then again, they don't have a lot of manpower. They're on uh, limited conscription, of course, though. Angolan territories integrated. Our territories in northern and southern Angola has finally been integrated into our nation. The local Angolan population has obtained Portuguese citizenship and now shares the same rights and duties as other Portuguese citizens, including military service. This will lead to a new source of manpower to strengthen our army. Gaining two cores and to get... Even more recruitable population factor. And Mozambican territory gets the same thing. That really hurt my stability. Holy cow. I mean, I could call, fight these guys, but we'll see what happens. If there's a lot of supply issues over here, I even give these guys, you know, support companies, logistic companies too. I'll pull them off, but right now I'm going to pull you guys over here. That'd be good. What's going on here? What the heck? Lots of... Convoys without escorts. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Do we get more weekly stability? We do. Which is awesome. I could send my soldiers to America. Yeah, I could. I could... Okay. Sending them to the Soviet Union probably won't be a smart idea since... Well, they're, they're dying. They're dying really, really well. Two British divisions versus six... Lusophonian motorized armored groups. Beautiful. <clears throat> I want deep. We cannot afford a Dunkirk. Oh, nice. Very good. Let's grab light aircraft bonus. Aviation is constantly evolving, and we must develop a proper proper aircraft industry, industry to support our army. 
They're really our military. Good. Oh, man. They are really escorting things without a lot of escorts. Well, escorting things? No, they're shipping stuff over without a lot of escorts. And that is so good. We need less resistance here. Or no resistance or compliance down here, which is awesome. But my gosh, look at that Soviet Union. That is beautiful. How close are they to capitulating? Ooh, coalition of free states. Wait, they have a coalition of... Oh, the UK must have gone decolonization. America's lost 2.27. Soviets, oh, they're so close. They're 92% of the way there. Now, the last 8% is going to be a little bit more of a struggle, I bet. Uh, grab more fuel for now. Yeah, I definitely need more fuel. Even Italy's invaded Wales. That's pretty bad, man. It's pretty bad when that happens. See if we can do this. We're gonna throw another division in here, probably. Oh, an American division showed up, and another one showed up, but it doesn't mean anything. Oh, they're attacking me. I want to get to Le Havre, Normandy, and then we will get to Deep. Okay, just hold for now, or you can help destroy these divisions here. Let's destroy those divisions there first. Take a tank with you. Take a tank. We need more uh, motorized, I suppose. Good. Let's just six three fire bases. Have you guys just hold? There you go. You guys are still moving over there. What supply issue like? That's uh, okay-ish. Nice. Very good. Get some more logistic companies. Those are good. Those are really good to get. Go do, get some more infantry anti-tank stuff. That's important. Oh, look! Our French ally and Japanese-held, or Japanese ally in Venezuelan lands is killing off some of our guys. Great, in the Amazonas. Oh, it's a watery grave for some. Sunk a convoy, very good. Awesome. You know what, what if we went straight for Cherbourg? Alright guys, prepare yourselves. Yeah, there's no point in me trying to help out against the Soviet Union now. The Soviets are done. They're just... They bye-bye. Wow. Up to 72 divisions. They got so many dead guys now. 34 million manpower. Maybe 76 factories. That's so good. Oh, I got a little bit more resistance. Oh yeah, we were making some armored cars. I only have 400. If I throw... Replace this with an armored car. It costs us 60. I need more than four of those, so it's gonna be a while before I can really use armored cars effectively. I think. Get more fuel and rubber, because even though I love building infrastructure, this is more important. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and have a good time against the Americans and the Brits who are. Probably well defending down here. If this goes well, we're gonna go straight for Cherbourg. Can we break them? That's a, that's probably the most important question. Probably. So give them some more force detected, break them even harder. Oh, there's some radar, that doesn't help us. Nice, good stuff. We have air superiority, thank you my allies. Even though they do have a few planes themselves as well. Actually. You already have, yeah, you have that. That's good. Uh, support anti-air. Could make you 40 combat with, but then again, I still don't even have any motorized. Period. Good. Ah, uh, getting invaded in northern England, huh? Oh, the Italians are not doing so well now. What's the intel on? Oh, they're pretty communist. Oh, oh, common turn influence. Intel next year sometime. Still got a lot of manpower. Still got a lot of manpower. So go ahead and grind it out. Great job, guys. Go ahead and send you down here just in case. Let our guys fill in. Repair the Suez. Who blew up the Suez Canal? Come on, guys. Why, why would you blow it up? Region-wide. I think that's worth it. I really don't have that much to spend my uh, political power on. Alright, so you guys are moving down here. That's good. Let's go and get all down here so we can spread out. I want to get uh, that tile. Because even though they have La Roche... 
That should severely hamper their efforts. Ah, got another infantry division. Very nice, very nice. I thought we'd lose more American territory, but no, we've actually held pretty darn steadily, which is really cool. Uh, how are you guys holding up? They're still moving, which doesn't tell me much. Attrition while moving. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to bait Columbia. Let's go and hang out over here then. There you go. How is Asia looking? Better for us. Much better. I guess fighting in a two-front war isn't really good for the common turn. Yeah, that's really not good. This is going to be one Axis dominated world. So if we can, I'll take as much of Spain and Africa and South America as I possibly can. Alright guys, please capitulate these guys quickly. Mm, no, we're okay on supplies. I don't mind even getting maybe just one more thing of steel from the Yugoslavians. Oh yeah, don't even care about making convoys. There you go. Nice. Ships. There you go. Getting invaded somewhere. Ah, the Benelux. Ah. Ah, so I see what they're doing. Interesting. Not really, but, you know, whatever. Could we... Hmm. Attack there. Leave the tanks out. And then attack there. See if we can do something like that. Very nice, very nice. Ah, Belgium, you're gone again. Thank you, Belgium, for attempting something. And then we'll help them down here. I'm glad I sent my tanks down here, because the Axis didn't need any help attacking. Uh, oh, this is going to be a good encirclement. This is one of the rare encirclements that I've done that actually is okay. That It's, it's a medium size. It's not small, but it's not big. It's definitely not big. Hey, look at that. There you go. We're going to cover this area up quite a bit. Ah, uh, now they're going to panic. Can I send a tank in here? Because they do well by themselves. Good. Now they're running out of supplies. Good. Fuel's looking better and better. We've sunk four Spanish destroyers. Not bad. The attack is... I mean, it's slowing down just because the infrastructure here is really bad. The terrain's really bad up there. Soviets are almost done 98% of the way there. We're, I know this video's gone on for quite a while. But I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Good. Let them die. Let them die. Let them die. Hmm. Resource-wise. Now, I don't plan on taking anything from the Soviets. If anything, I might just take, like, the Crimea. Maybe. For fun. Uh, throw you guys right here. I don't know why you're over there like that. Cool. Maybe we could throw a few more naval bombers in the water. Oh, happy 1944, everyone. Happy 1944. Oh, no, we don't have any extra naval bombers. That's, that's okay, though. Actually, actually... Ah, the Polish cipher is decrypted. It's amazing, it's 1944. Germany has not killed off Poland yet. Cryptology. Hmm. I don't know. Sweden? Eventually? I don't know. It doesn't really matter to me. I really don't care. Ah, uh, look at that. Muy bueno. And we are 90% of the way there, so come on, come on, come on. Attack him in the rear. Ah, very nice. Overran, overran. Beautiful. Now let's concentrate our, concentrate our forces right here. We're going to go out for this port. Because even though they have a port down here, and especially in Bordeaux, I'm going to take Brittany. Oh, look at our manpower still going up. Love it. Total effective manpower modified to 130% because of colonial assimilation policy. Alright, so actually, armored cars, they're looking okay-ish. Actually, is there a support company for armored cars? There is not at the moment. Hmm. Give them some force attack. They should be able to break these guys. Should is a good word. Yep. Leading with the armor is always a smart idea. 
Good. Very nice. There you go. Have at thee. Oh, you're going the wrong direction. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. Come on, please. I know that there's not a lot of victory points around this part of Asia. But, uh... Or even this part of Europe up here. Maybe except for Arch Angelis. I always say that wrong. But, uh... Come on, come on. I want to capitulate. And they're 99% of the way there. They just need 1% more victory points. 1% more. That's all you need. Oh, my goodness. Now we need more fuel as well. Which we will have in 40 days. Or 23 days, really. That'll be good. Nice. Keep blowing up those enemy convoys. Oh, they actually completed this. Nice. That's so good. That's so much better now. So much better. You know what? I don't want to do this, but I'm going to try to risk... I really don't want to do this. Next episode, I will try to send my soldiers to America so that this way the enemies will die. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. And I'll end this episode very, very soon. So, National Cruiser Production. Let's get a... Cuerpo de Estado Mayor. The military reform reinstituted the Army Chief of Staff as an elite instruction or institution for the study of modern warfare. We must invest in new facilities to improve its efficiency. Cool, you guys did great. Uh, I really don't think you need help down here, but you know what? Since we're here, since we're here, and we're pretty much done with that, we might just go to war with Finland. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, can someone just get to. Chelyabinsk. Chelyabinsk. French Tahiti. Oh. Well, watch out. They capitulated. Um, Japanese looking pretty good. Pretty darn good. The French Vietnam's there. Cambodia. <clears throat> Even the Japanese invaded the Soviet Union through the Sakhalin Islands. That's pretty cool. France is a major player. Man, if France and Germany could unite in real life, I don't know, man. That would be culturally very, very weird. But, they could become very powerful. Come on, grab one more tile somewhere. We're so close. And I don't want to end this, end, or have tomorrow's episode drag on because we have clearly peace conferences on. Come on. Take something, take something. You know what? I'll do this instead. As this video's gone, gone on long enough. I will go ahead and play this a little bit off screen so that we can finish off the Soviets with the peace conference. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you all tomorrow once this peace deal is done. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.